acting again. Yeah, Laisa, please answer the question number 51. Yes, sir. So, uh, good morning. My name is Laisha, and uh, I, I would like to add some of my opinions uh, on the following case, uh, on this case, and my opinions are as follows. Uh, as mentioned in the question, excessive, excessive internet usage has, uh, uh, has, um, uh, block the uh, block the uh, sta block the stability block the thinking stability of uh, a younger generation. Uh, so, uh, as being the policy secretary, I will first issue some guidelines regarding the uh, some app some appropriate some appropriate amount of limit that should be set oh, upon the minute, one minute. Hold on, uh, Babu. Good. Now, per phone bandra hongle. Now, or aramani minadi phone bandra. Yeah, uh, please tell me. Yes, sir. So first step, sir, my first step would be like, sir, uh, uh, I will I, I will set a certain amount of uh, internet usage limit uh, upon the student and I will assist same to my, say, same to the teacher and the uh, other coordinator so that they keep a, a eye check on the student that the limit shouldn't be exceeded. So second step, I will I would like to take uh, so so that they can get so that they can generate more interest in sports sports and uh, other activities like to uh, organize more sports and cultural events in the college on the monthly basis or uh, on the uh, on the annual basis weekly and so, basis or fifteen days basis yes sir or nightly um, basis yes sir. yes sir. very good. So, very good. So, yes sir third point I would no, like no, to add. Yeah. So third, sir, third point I would like to add, sir, like as mentioned, uh, uh, sir, as mentioned in the question, arts and science students. So, sir, for sir, for the art student, I would like to conduct more uh, seminar, seminar and work, workshop on the subject on the subjects like politics, economics, history, and art and um, uh, and I will I will also organize some archaeological site visits so that they can uh, gain more interest in history and background. And they sufficient, also got sufficient. You have talked. You have talked more than a minute, and uh, you are uh, struggling in between because of the strain. You are struggling in between. Be calm, quiet, and talk confidently. You are above average student. You can succeed when you go without tension. Do you follow? Yes. Next question. So, what do you the want? One thing I wanted to ask, sir. So the way I spoke, so the, that yeah, was I, the... I I will rate it at six point five out of ten. Don't mistake me. I am giving you less marks, but for the next question, probably that marks may increase depending on because a lot of disturbance was also there. So average six point five for out of ten, and mm -hmm. the chances of selection are fifty percent. But now let us take next question. Which question you want? Sir, fifty-four, sir. Fifty-four. Please read. Ah yes, sir. In your in your role as a team leader, a reliable member of your team approaches you with a disclosure. He recently sold a product to a customer by conveying inaccurate information regarding its warranty period. While the actual warranty period was one year, the customer was mistakenly informed that it was extended to three years due to lack of com comprehensive product no uh, knowledge. The customer having a su uh, substantial investment in the product was influenced by this incorrect information. As a team leader, how would you deal with this situation? What measures will you take to avoid such situations in the future? In the future. So, so uh, uh, good mo good morning. My name is Raisha, and my uh, views on uh, on this case are as follows. So, first of all, as a team leader, uh, the my my, my initial uh, my core responsibility is to get my certification, get my customer the best the best and the top notch service that we can provide. So, sir, in this case, I would first like to apologize my customer for the inappropriate knowledge. From my uh, from my uh, uh, team employee, uh, and uh, uh, I will I will apologize on a personal level. And once I get uh, and once I rectify this problem with the uh, customer, then I'll talk to my uh, team uh, team employee that what what went wrong while conveying this information to the customer, and if needed, I would like to take some uh, certain action so that this 
this in this mistake uh, won't be repeated in future by any other uh, employee in the company because sir, our core and uh, sole responsibility uh, of our is to provide and uh, is to provide and get customer satisfied see actually yes, he, he could have told i will consult my seniors also to find out whether we can give three years specially for this person or by charging some extra amount from this person whether we can do it if however it is not possible i will humbly tell him that it is not possible for us to extend the three year service since this mistake has happened because of the lack of knowledge on the part of the employees hereafter i will try to see the training programs are made compulsory and everybody is taught about the various rules and regulations for the warranty period guarantee period and other aspects and i will also ask them to update their knowledge periodically because rules change frequently thank you okay you please listen to this video again you please listen to this video again you will be able to know that okay so the points as i mentioned in the question now you, you you omitted two points so i covered those two points doesn't matter everything need not be told but the confidence with which you speak is what is more important choose the next question so 61 please read you are the manager of a company which is planning to which is planning to conduct a csr activity the company has asked all the employees to participate and contribute in order to make the activity successful mr x a good performing employee of a company has shown reluctance in joining the activity despite reminding him several times what will you do in this scenario Good morning. Good morning. My name is Aisha, and I would like to add some of my opinions on on this case and opinions. Yeah, but are actually, you don't have to tell your opinions. I will tell my views. Okay, sir. My views. Opinion is different from view. Yes. Hmm. Now tell again. Start from the beginning. Uh, good morning my name is laisha and i would i would uh, like to add uh, my views on the on the on the given case and my views are as follows um, so first of all uh, i will uh, as the uh, as mentioned in the question i, I am uh, addressed as the manager of the company so so my uh, in this case sir i would assign first in the initial stage i would like to assign this duty to my team leader only because he he is he is only responsible for the working of his team employees so uh, i will um, assist assist him in order uh, so that he can convince that employee who is reluctant in uh, joining that activity and despite several efforts he, if uh, if he fails to plan uh, if he, if he plans if he fails to convince him then i will talk to him in personal level and uh, make him convince by my way like i will um, like i will point some benefits and the profit we where we can make from this activity so as a csr csr activity uh, adds value and the core importance to a society also sir so and on personal level these activities benefit our company also Good. Uh, as we can gain more and more customer through these activities uh, so sir on the personal level i would like to make him convince by by me by my way and if needed i would like to consult my senior also that what other step we can we can take so that we can uh, get involvement of more and more employees and and if uh, if my, if if from my side that couldn't be possible then i would like to um, involve my seniors to making convince for this activity thank you see here it is not a question of inviting other members we are talking only about one member not participating so i will call that employee and talk to him tell him the importance of csr activities the good name the company gets by performing the csr activities and if he does not perform in the csr activity though his salary may not come down 
it will certainly give a negative impression about him in the minds of the bosses and his chances of promotion may be affected. So I will advise him to be uh, showing more interest in CSR activities and participate actively. It, as a company, we are obliged and we have to be showing our gratitude to the country and our fellow men. So it is an important factor and this is this cannot be neglected. Okay. Yes. For uh, this question, I... for this question, I will give you 8.5 out of 10. Not bad. You have improved. Now go to the next question or I will give you next question. Now please take uh, 79. You oversee a team of employees, including Mr. A and Mr. B, who report directly to you. Additionally, there are five more team members who report to you through Mr. A and Mr. B. Mr. A efficiently handles customer, need, uh, customer needs and maintains a healthy work-life balance by leaving the office early. On the other hand, Mr. B ensure, ensure tasks, tasks are completed promptly on the same day and is willing to stay late to achieve this. As you plan a one week foreign trip, you need to decide one of these individuals will entrust the responsibility of managing the branch in your absence. Did you go through this question? Uh, sir, in the, sir, in your past video, sir. No, sir. Yeah. Now tell me, tell me. Uh, sir, you have one minute, sir. You was your email. Sir, uh, in this question, sir, uh, my uh, sir, my uh, I have addressed as in branch manager, sir. Because mm. it's not mentioned properly in the question, sir. Sir, yeah, team yeah. manager, you are, you are, you, manager you, are the, you are the team leader or manager. That forget about that. You are a team leader. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, why have you not studied uh, the videos? wherein more than 10 questions, 15 questions are answered. 10, 15 questions are answered. Have sir, you not actually, come up? I have, sir, actually, uh, I have watched your uh, 10 dental videos, sir. So that's why, sir, it was not possible to uh, for me to watch all your videos. No, no, but even if you have watched 10 videos wherein there are 10, 10 questions, you would have covered nearly 50 to 60 questions. But of course, Clarity may not be there because there will be only one answer. Yes. There, there will be only, see, for example, mm, a question like this, five questions. A question like this, five questions. In some questions, I would have given 10 questions also. So you must go through, uh, and that is during the final times of the Pan-India recruitment. Mm, I made it uh, 10 questions in one video. It will be there. You just turn around, but of course, it should be after 48. Okay, doesn't matter. Koi baat nahi. Now, um, whatever you are prepared, be confident about it and speak with confidence. That will bring you success. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, please tell me. Uh, sir, in this case, sir, as a team leader, sir, first of all, I will make sure uh, that the uh, documents or the uh, do doc documentation documentation needed to assist my customer uh, will be hand over to uh, to Mr. B. Uh, Mr. Uh, sir, I will, sir, first of all, Maya, let me start. No, no, you have not understood this question. In this question, you are the team leader. There are two people, A and B. Now you are um, you are going on a foreign trip. Yes. So now you have to decide whether you are going to give to A or to B. A is a person who is good in handling customer needs, but uh, maintains a healthy work-life balance. But he is leaving the office early. Whereas on the other hand, B is a person he is willing to stay late to achieve and. Um, he is also um, he is willing to stay later. So, uh, to whom you would like to give? 
you can say i would like to give to a because yes sir. he is a I person like he is yes, he is very efficient and he is also good in managing the time and work life balance yes. so i will give it to him supposing you want to say in favor of b you can say i will give it to b because b is a person who will stay late and work for supplying satisfying the needs of customers even in late hours unlike mr a so um for this one week only i will hand over the work to mr b you can talk both this way and that way now yes. next question for you is 87 have you read this question yes so i have read that question you prepared yourself no so no sir i haven't read that question <laughs> please read you are the sports secretary of your college and your institution is gearing up for an upcoming inter college sports tournament the designated coach responsible for training the student athletes the training session typically take place after class timing around 4 pm and continuing until 6 pm however you notice a challenge as in due to remote location of your college talented day scholars who exhibit potential as athletes are finding it difficult to attend these training sessions regularly in your capacity as the sports secretary it's essential to devise innovative solution to address this uh, predicament predicament mm -hmm. and predicament and ensure the full participation of these gifted athletes good yes. one minute sir So, uh, no, no. You take your own time. One minute time. So yes, can I speak, sir? Yeah, please. Okay, sir. Good morning, sir. My name is Laisha, and I would like to add add my views, uh, on the topic. And my views are as follows, sir. In this case, as being as a college sec sports secretary, it's my responsibility to, uh, uh, solve and take the uh take the uh, problem addressed by the students on a personal level, and make and make sure that their problems will be addressed in an eff effective and efficient manner. so in so sir initially i would uh, like to um, sir uh, to add more value to the problem i would first like to um, discuss this matter with my senior as the committee member of the college and if possible we would like to change the uh, timings of the uh, timings of the training and if not possible due to uh, class class timings so that the academic classes also won't, uh, won't also get uh, hindered due to the uh, practical uh, practical training uh, so in this case we when we can also take we, we can also uh, do that uh, do is that ki um, we can take these session twice or thrice a week um, in the same timing only and um, i think you no you are one minute Yes. Just a minute. Hold on. <laughs> See if you have watched this video, you could have come up across various ideas. Sir, like I say, would like to add some two points also, sir. Please tell me. Yeah, sir. Sir, uh, third third thing we can also add in uh, add in this that that we can take early morning sessions like before ah. before school before college so that sir student uh won't get affected by the timings also and sir there um that. as they have addressed the problem that the college is in remote location and secondly uh, their uh, curricular 
curricular part of the curricular part of the college also also get affected and so the fourth fourth and the last thing we can do is that we can take some weekend session in the uh, mid morning sir like in the afternoon session so like 2 to 3 or uh, what time we are convenient with we can add sir these efforts so that the so that the problem of the students can be addressed in, in an effective and efficient manner some more points that can be told for this is that you can arrange for hostel accommodation for the candidates during the training period you can request the college management to arrange for bus service for transportation of the people during late mm -hmm. hours okay mm -hmm. yes. good very good so the uh, points i added sir what is sufficient so okay not bad it is good i will give you 9 out of 10 